In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the ABS speed sensor on your Jeep Grand Cherokee located on the back wheels. Using your 19 millimeter socket, loosen and remove your lug nuts. Once you have the lug nuts removed, grab the wheel and set it aside. Now we're gonna enter through the back seat of the vehicle and we're gonna grab the little straps on the side. We wanna pull this up and pull our seat forward. We're gonna do the same on the passenger side. Flip up the seat, tip that forward. That's gonna give us access to this back section. Our ABS speed sensor connector is underneath the carpet right here. We're gonna set our jack aside. You go ahead and lift up on our carpet and pull this up. This is the connector right here. And we're going to undo our red locking clip right here. Just push that over like so. And separate the connector like that. You're just gonna press in on the little tab right there and pull this apart. Now you can see the cable or connector goes through this rubber grommet right here through the floor. And we're just gonna use our flathead screwdriver and go ahead and push that right through. Feed that connector right through to the outside of the vehicle. Now we just removed our ABS sensor from the hole in the floor. You can follow it down to these clips and we just want to separate it. Lift up on this little retainer clip to open that right up. You am going to follow this down and around. There's three of these that are actually strapped to the emergency brake cable. Now if you follow the ABS wire down to right here, there's a single bolt holding the sensor into the back side of the backing plate. Now our bolt is in rough shape. We're able to use a 9 30 seconds socket on this. And spin out that bolt. I'm gonna grab that sensor and just wiggle that out. And take your speed sensor. I'm going to line this up and gently feed that inside. Now you want to install the bolt. We had to source another bolt because ours was in rough shape. Now when tightening this down, once that bolt snugs down, quarter turn. That's it, just needs to be snug. At this point here, we can go ahead and start to route our wire up and over and into its corresponding clips. Just going to work our o ring up and into the body. Now we're back inside the vehicle underneath the back seat. Lift up that carpet, and you're going to find our connector right here. Now, the rubber grommet that we poke through is right over here. You can go ahead and grab that and give that a little wiggle. Make sure that is fully seated and sealed from the outside elements. Once that's all sealed up, go ahead and grab that connector. I'll go ahead and line this up. Be that in, push it in, you're gonna feel it and hear it lock into place. And then don't forget to push this red lock tab over. Tuck your carpet down. This point here, we can go ahead and fold our back seat back down. Go ahead and install your back wheel. Go ahead and grab your wheel. Line it up onto the studs, set it into place. We want to go ahead and install our lug nuts. Going to get them all started by hand first. Once we have these all started by hand, 
we'll come back and snug them down. Torque the lug nuts to 100 foot pounds. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.